steps in, a side <laughs> knee bend. And that's so, exactly so, what so, I did. So when you do a stop kick, okay, the tendency is, is so when I stop kick him, I'm going to use my shoe. I'm going to stop his. I'm going to stop his shin. Okay, so you can do. So what's a stop kick? It, it impedes forward progress. It may not stop forward progress, but it impedes forward progress. So, so he's there, he comes forward. I want to dissuade him from coming forward. That will dissuade him from coming forward. Now, here's the thing. Why, so, so when you think about stop kicks, there's a pain stop kick. There's a obstruction stop kick. They're two different, okay? So look, he's here, he moves forward, that's pain. So he comes in, I'm gonna go whack. And I'm going to kick him in the shin so hard it stops him from coming forward. It may not stop the forward motion, okay? Now, the second one is here. He goes forward and I stop. I literally I physically stop his movement forward. Now, that you've got to be careful with those. So, so that's why I'm saying when you're here, I prefer kicking the, in the, the crease of the hip because you can't, you're not going to dislocate the hip, okay? But you can pop the knee. So when you practice this, so when you originally you practiced this, it was slam and you were shin guards and you kick as hard as you could in the side of the, the, side of the shin. Now, Understand back in 1963, 64, 65, if you look at the pictures, Bruce is in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the dojo, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the kun, with regular black dress shoes, kicking you in the shin, okay? So think about it. Black dress shoes, hard leather, okay, I think you're not the same time, baby. So, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> She's like, I can see the blood that's draining from her body. So you're getting kicked in the shins with a hard sole. It's like you're getting, getting smacked with a stick, right? So that's good training, okay? Uh, I remember particularly one fight in college, a uh, football player against me, and I weighed maybe 135, and uh, he pushed me, and I go, let's go. And I had on Vibram cleat hiking boots. And I was, pain. And I go, <laughs> and I punched him in the face, right? That was it. That was the end of the fight, okay? But that one kick stopped him cold, okay? So you get, so it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't extend his knee. I just hit him so hard. I think I may have, I may have fractured his, his shin bone, okay? So gently, so he's going to come forward. Stop kick. I'm going to come forward. <laughs> so I'm going to come forward. Stop kick. So, so, so two stop kicks you have. One is if, if he's rushing me, that's the stop you're going to use. And I'm not going to kick him really hard enough, okay? So, he comes in a rush, bang. It's a square torso kick. Okay, now, if he's stalking for it, it's a side, it's going to have to be something in the here to slow it down. Okay, so I want you to practice two ways. So, I'm going to come at Ryan. So, one is I rush in and he stops me. And one is I'm advancing. Very different. Because you don't have, so look, so try to stop in my chest like that. It's harder to do, right? So if you aren't squared up, that's that's teat per se is hard to do. If you look at Muay Thai stop kick, it's much more of a it's more of a pointy like ball of the foot type stop, okay? And they'll put it anywhere here, 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 depending on what you're coming forward with. You probably need to be more as you're learning this, be more specific as to how you apply it. Okay, so one is gonna be I'm square. I walk in square, he stops me. And then I walk in through so like, so like if I'm here walking through a punch. That may be easier to use that kind of the jeep jet tech on the leg or the hip to slow it down. So here's what I want you to do. Don't kick your partner, okay? Go slow, go light, okay? Because here, so, so this is a timing thing, not a power thing. If you have to use power, it's never gonna work for you. Because while you're amping the power, they've already broke range. It's too late, okay? So for right now, just gonna, so I'm here, I'm gonna walk forward, he's gonna stop me. He's gonna walk forward, I'm gonna stop him, okay? I'm gonna walk forward, he's gonna stop me, he's gonna come in, I'm gonna stop him. So occasionally you'll get it right and occasionally you'll screw it up, okay? That's okay, but you gotta find the range first. So this is kind of a warm up, so don't go hard, don't go fast, just kind of play around. Those of you who are skinny and cold, stay in the sunshine, okay? Here we go. Now, Tex, now, Tex, cross up, cross, okay? Now, bridge in. Circle that, that's great. So just do that. Just no, no farther. Five count, uh, you can do left and right, great. Do, do your whatever rep is the best round for your side for you, okay? Here we go. Take a kick. This is gonna be two kicks, three hands. So I come in, I kick, I kick, shoot in. Bang, 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 circle out. Okay? So kick in, yeah, bang, bang. One, two, three, circle out. 
that's the guy who's back after the first kick. Well, here's the thing. This not is as much. I once, I stop him. Bang, two, three. Yeah, I've not stopped, as much. I've stopped his ability to move. So that five count is you've got a positive reaction from the first kick. Bang. You stop the cold. One, two, three. Okay? Which is different than the first five count. Because the first five count, you're able to enter, but he's still mobile. Right? So if Stuart kids kick my groin, and I go like this, right? What is he going to enter with? Either hand or foot. But he didn't, so, so if he kicks me in the groin, and I go, oh, right? Here's your three hand, right? And then he either kicks me on the way out, or I'm stumbling to get the hell away, and he kicks me again, right? Very different than the second one we just did, right? So Stuart's here, Stuart kicks the groin, right? And I'm here, and he just nails his leg. Boom, I'm not going anywhere. One, two, three, right? Different concept, completely. Because I, listen, listen, I didn't break, I didn't change range. As the, as the holder, as the recipient, I didn't change range. Okay? Those five counts are inherently different. Go.